Hey, hey, good morning. It is Wednesday. Back to work after a visit with the accountant yesterday. The taxes went really well. I wrote just about a lot of stuff off. <laughs> Bought a new truck and uh, tightened everything up. Prepaid all my taxes during the year. So not only do I do not have to pay prepay this year, I'm getting a refund back. A nice size refund to say the least it's about time that I win baby <laughs> man I paid my share that's for sure anyway today we're gonna be doing a pool cage at a regular customer I'm getting the uh, was on an early start and the phone just keeps ringing off the hook we're booked all the way into April I got spots left in March here and there but that's about it things are going very well for super blast keep it very busy uh, after the pool cage, we're going to have a, a house wash, and then we're going to have another house wash and vinyl fence wash today. Um, that's going to keep me busy for most of the day, and it's going to be a good ticket day. And um, Sunday, the historical courthouse is going to have a nice demo of that 32-foot extension pole and exactly what it's able to do. <clears throat> I have some uh, clamping devices for my GoPro. So I'm going to try and get that puppy up in the air where I'm cleaning. And I'm going to have a another camera taking video zoomed in on a tripod of the areas in question. And then uh, hopefully I'm going to have my buddy GT Builds from Ameritech Pressure Washing. Where uh, they're starting to ship out products, guys. Uh, that blue hose should be in shortly. And I, man, I highly recommend that. You're going to be selling it for $189. For just a little bit over a hundred feet mine came out to be 112 feet on my on my uh 100 footer that i bought a few weeks back i didn't even buy it they gave it to me to demo it and i'm telling you what i highly recommend it. 100 feet of hose only weighs 20 pounds talk about a light light day now instead of dragging all that heavy duty stuff around and this stuff will outlast your double braided hose um, and all that good stuff. So I highly recommend it. I had a guy on the channel. He ordered some sticky, icky pine and some pressure hose. Way to go, man. All you got to do is call Ameritech. I'll put the number down in the description today and call in your orders, man. Try out some of these products. Awesome stuff. All right. Got to stop for a gas fill up and then we'll be on our way to the job. Y'all get after it. All right, good morning. Here we are, regular customer. Come here all the time. Got a little extra on the ticket. I'll show you how easy this is. See this landscape border? See how that looks? It goes from there to the door. Okay, I'm going to take the pump up sprayer, straight 12.5. Going to hit that. Then I'm going to go back here. Let's go look at the job. I do this every year so they keep it up. They just want the pollen off the screen and all that stuff that's back here. And she moves all the furniture out. I mean, for the most part, it stays pretty good. It's a liner pool. There's a liner in there. Looks like the water's down a little bit. Anyway, you see all this stuff up here. That's uh, oak tree pollen up there on the screen. All right. So the tree company is going to come today and they're going to go ahead and whack that tree off of there. Come out here and trim it up and uh, get that problem solved for them. This every year. So let's go out here and spray this. Have one more look at it. See how that looks? That looks like ugh. Well, You can see where there's a flower pot. All right. I'm going to go ahead and hit that, and then we'll see what it looks like at the end of the job. All right, let's get after it. Okay, we're running this, the uh, speed at three quarters. I just got done spraying this stuff. Look at it. It's brand new almost already, huh? I only used like a little bit over a quart of <laughs> SH to spray those two. So how much did that cost me? Let's just be, let's be a generous and say uh, I used a half a gallon, okay? 
So SH is a dollar eighty-four a gallon, and that's an upcharge of fifty bucks. It took five minutes. Man, lawyers don't even make that much. Look at my hoses open there. SH is going in the corner there. But that's where it needed to go. Let's get after. Everything's all SH down, ready to go. Just got to rinse her all off. Floors are all cleaned up. Just got to get the black stuff off. And it's just melting away on its own. Get all that um, pollen off of there. That's oak tree pollen. Looks like we got a camphor tree mixed in the middle of it as well. Crazy looking thing there. All right, let's get after it. Let's have a look. Looks really good. Windows are clean. The deck's clean. All the pollen's gone. All they had to do was call. You know it. You're looking at me. Don. <laughs> All right. Let's get after it. Let's get to the next one. Let's go out front and uh, I'll show you what I do to rinse these things off to keep the uh, SH from killing everything. All right. Let's get after it. Okay. The first thing I'm going to do before I rinse the, uh, the landscape off is out you always want to rinse out the gear every time watch all the SH that comes out you don't want that to be sitting in your lines all day long okay it's getting ready to go ahead and barf it all up Ugh. actually there wasn't a lot in there I guess pretty cool that's what you want okay We're going to want to rinse this off. Look at all the soap that comes off. You don't want all that in your fresh bucket of water. Alright. Alright, now we're going to be ready to rinse that stuff off over there. And we'll be right back again and get after that. Alright, let me show you how easy this is to make quick, easy money. Rinse it off. Some of the stains are a little stubborn, but that's okay. Rinse it off real quick. And then the stacks that aren't going to come all the way off, just go ahead and go flip, flip, flip with the sprayer one more time. Take you a couple of seconds. And I tell you, I charge 50 bucks for this. I 
didn't take long at all. This little piece right here, I was at the gas station this morning, so my fill up was $97. So what does that do for me? That's going to cover $50 of it, right? Instead of taking away from the tickets, you can just go ahead and uh, take it from this. Alright? I guess you get the picture, it's looking really good. We'll see you at the next job. Get after it. Okay, one more look. You can see it from here. Look at that. That's the difference between being in better homes and gardens or not. You know what I mean? Okay. I rested off at the ball valve and I came back and just went hip 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 with the with the little sprayer. Look at that, looks flawless. Okay? I got 10 minutes of my time invested in that cleanup job there and I made 50 bucks, so you know, that's a lot an hour, you know what I'm saying? All right, just helpful tips to uh, get you to mark up your ticket when, when it's requested. I wouldn't go around saying, hey, I'm gonna clean these landscape blocks up for $50. You know, if they ask you to do it, I don't really like doing it. And most people would tell you, $50, what? But uh, this customer said, yeah, get it cleaned up, please. It's not going to work every time, but you can get it cleaned up for 50 bucks in 10 minutes. Get after it. We'll see you at the next job. It's going to be a house wash. Then we got a house wash and fence wash. It's going to be a good day. All right, we'll see you there. All right, here we are at job number two. There's the rig. The water's on that side. We're going to start the job right here on the corner of the house. We're going to SH all the way around the side. Okay, we got some, got some soffit damage right here. Separated at the house. All right, the house needs a really good bath. It's got some black stuff on it. See that? Sidewalks, black algae. All the way, we got a bee's nest. All the way up there in the corner. And it's black underneath the soffits over there. We got some chips. This is uh, this is cement, but there's some chips. But anyway, just take note of this kind of stuff. And everything's black up here above. See? See how that is up there? We need to make it look brand new. Look at these chairs. So we'll take these chairs apart like this, and they'll probably sit in them because they'll look like the day they bought them. Just the little things. Oh, he even cleaned my chairs. You're not gonna believe it. But anyway, she said she's never had it done. And by the looks of it, I can believe that. And we got some really black stuff here. Let's move this ladder. There you go. Let's move the ladders off the house. That'll be good. Come around the back. And clean right to there. Then, go back to the truck. And where your hose is going to be? Hose management, baby. The hoses will be all on this side of the driveway. Then we can knock the driveway out last. And rinse it. <laughs> Satisfying. Then we can go home. But we're not going home because we got another job. Another house wash, driveway, fence. It's a busy day. All right, downstream class. This is an unloader, okay? This unloader block. If you have a four gallon a minute machine, this is what you're gonna hook your injector up to, downstream injector. Always soak it in a bucket of water. And we're gonna be using tank A today. Everything on the side, that's A machine, A chlorine tank. Sodium hydrochloride. Now you see me take that lid off of there, right? We're gonna do it with the lid. There, if you forget it when you leave, well, no big deal, because it's going to be in the toolbox. If you leave it laying here or over there, whew, there it goes. See you later. All right, you take the injector out of the water. Let's go ahead and grab it. I'm going to do this one-handed, because my tripod's across the way over there. I'm going to hook up. Hook up. 
And like I said, mine is all the way on the other side of the parking lot. If I had two hands, we wouldn't have this tangly wangly stuff going on here. Okay. Boy, this makes a good video. Are you getting dizzy yet? Holy smokes. All right, now we're going to put that in the tank. See that? Right on in there. There you go. Look how wonderful that looks. That's what I call liquid gold. Without it, you're not going to make no money. Okay, now, safety glasses. Always wear them when you're using SH. Okay, so now you got your injector hooked up. I use this, ah, this is really hard with one hand. We'll be right back. Okay, we're done, and we're back at Don Juan's Dizzy School of Class. Class of Dizzy School. <laughs> Downstream injection class. Anyway, you got your injector hooked up. You got your, your line down in the sauce. I use this reel just for storage. I peel off what I need. Plug in. You're ready to go to work. Okay, how this works. You can either use whatever tips you want and get a downstream injector uh, bypass system so you can just turn it on and off. You can do that if you want. I prefer to do things simple. So what I do is I have these soap tips. Okay, this is a V-Jet. And this is the 0060 original tall reach tip. This is a 4015 wide rinse tip. It's a rinse tip and this is a 0015 wash jet tip. The soap tips turn the soap on. The rinse tips turn the soap off. Simple as pie, right? All right, we're going to run the uh, machine on three-quarter speed for this house wash, and then we'll switch over to full blast when we get to the driveway. All right, let's get started, and let's get after it. Oh, and remember, whenever it's 80 degrees or more, you got to stay hydrated. Look at that. And I got a piece for after. Woohoo! Let's get after it. Let's take a quick look at what a little SH can do for your house, okay? Remember up there? It's all black. All that was all black up there. All that was dark and dirty. All this was nasty. Look at these chairs. Haven't even hit them with anything yet. We'll let this stuff sit here for a couple minutes. Got all this done, SH. The driveway's gonna come out nice. Everything's looking good. Okay. Had a bunch of green mold along the porch before when we got here. It's all gone now. This side's looking good. There's a couple spots in the front that we're probably going to have to hit with the pump up. We'll have to see. But all that stuff's white along the porch now. See that? All that was nasty green along the bottom there. Alright, that's all cleaned up. All this soffit fish is good. All the mold's good and he's paint down there. Uh, this is what I'm talking about, spot treating out front here. See that orange stuff right there? Just a little bit here and there and that right there. I think that'll be good. And another spot over there. And probably a couple little spots over there. Just to touch it up and make it look perfect. <clears throat> like the lady said, it hasn't been done in a long time, so it can actually use, it's gonna look nice though. It looks nice and white again. See the what I'm talking about the front there where that line is? I mean, if you look at it close, it looks like, eh, you know, that makes it look like I did a crappy job. People are driving by here. We would have it in the front of the garage, that little pillar right in the front there. It has a lot of that orange on there. 
nothing but a little with the pump up sprayer and that'll be out of here all right now for the satisfying rinse of this part only let's get after it Place is coming along nice. Nice and white. Look at that. Windows are all nice and clean. What bees nest? I don't see any bees nest. You see a bees nest up there? I didn't. Well, that sock is clean. Alright, now we're gonna bang out this driveway. Then we'll go down the side of the house, around that little part of the back, reel it right back into the truck, go to the door with the bill, and that'll be it. All right, let's get after it. Oh, All Check it out. Got it all cleaned up. Looks like it's gonna be really nice. And now, it's time for the satisfying rooms. <laughs> Check it out, looks really good. All right, house looks good, driveway looks good, better on the road looks good, it looks good. All right, now all we gotta do is go down the side of the house, SH, go around the back there, that little, little distance, wrench it back to the truck and we're out of here, all right? Let's get after it. Okay, there it is, baby. Look at that. House looks nice, beautiful. Looks like it just got painted or something. I don't know what happened. <laughs> All you gotta do is clean it, man. All right, we got the mailbox right here. All we gotta do is rinse that puppy off. And we'll be uh, downtown Charlie Brown, baby. All right, we're gonna do a little fresh rinse action for you right now here we go hey what's happening everybody i'm don the get after it guy and i want to show you my little slash rack caddy thing for my gallons dudes look i got my badass de greaser badass de greaser in there and i got my uh, uh, my pink power in there and i got my 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 my, 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 my sticky icky pines in there <laughs> oh and i got my uh, uh, my, my my itd bleach hat in there Oh, and I got a pump up sprayer and I got a chemical pump up sprayer right over here and, and this one here is for bleach <laughs> and I'm not gonna make any of these either so there you have it I'm Don the get after it guy <laughs> all right Don here job three last and final job of the day it's a bigger job I'm gonna start the job right here in the corner of the house we're gonna wash all of us off 
go to that corner by the fence rinse it back get this driveway and sidewalk the gutter in the road all done looks like garbage out here it's been a while and we got this big fence to do in the back the fence hasn't been clean in 12 years so you can just imagine how dirty it is but the house is not that bad so we're gonna get a some of it's gonna be easy some of it's not gonna be easy all right now there's the fence got some nice black stuff on it I think she's in there digging for a tarp a green shed okay we got some really bad mold here and we have the fish pond right there so we're gonna come in and get the screens from the inside out all right got some black stuff on the fascia over there look at how green the fence is down there and we got the soffits pretty dirty and black all right well, we got a lot of fence here we'll count these panels up that's going to be a nice ticket for to end the day and this way we won't get any uh sh in the fish pot Let's go ahead and do the uh you can see the screens from here you can see that faint little green stuff going through there all right we'll go ahead and get after it we're gonna get the front done first then we'll be back to get this done we're gonna get the shed closed up all right we'll be back Let's have a look at the front of the house it's all good all that molds off the front that was on there is looking good now we're going to get after this driveway sidewalk all the way down to the pole we're going to get the gutter in the road we're going right to the tripod then we're going to hit the side of the house right here do that shed get the back of the house go inside that screen porch rinse all that off then we're going to get after that fence back there all right let's get after it how about if we just hop on and go for a ride, shall we? Let's get after it, baby! We got it all mini mon dude off now it's time for the satisfying rinse woohoo let's get after it
We have to spot treat a couple little black algae spots. And now we're gonna go ahead and SA from here all the way down. Get this fence done. Look at all this mold. Algae. Alright, then we got all this back here. Alright, well let's get started with this. And uh, we'll be right back. Let's take a look it looks brand new except for along the top that'll come right off though gonna let it dwell we got a little bit of more dwelling to do there we're gonna hit that one more time it's really some tough stuff there we're done all the way up to where you can see that black stuff on that fence over there all right so we're moving right along sh in the wrong front we're gonna go in the screens here get that done get the other side of the house done over there then we're gonna finish the fence all right let's get after it Let's go have a look here and let's go get a battery first. We'll be right back. All right, how's everybody doing? Let's have a look. All that mold that was on the very front of that peak, gone. How nice the uh, soffits and fascias look. All right, this fence hadn't been clean in 12 years, okay? Now, we have this stuff here that we're gonna get a hit with this pump up sprayer. These little teeny spots. I only have a few panels that I got to do it on. Okay. But this is how you get rid of the spots. All right. So we'll be right back to take a look at these spots right here. I'm not going to go walking around the whole yard. But the whole place came out looking great. And we got to spray a little bit right there. They got the house going up for sale. And they're moving to North Carolina. That's where I want to go. Man. <laughs> One of these days. Anyway, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thank you for the work, and thank you for subscribing to the channel. I appreciate that. Go ahead and put a comment in there, and keep in touch, and I'll send you some stickers. All right? All right, let's get after it. All right, check it out. See that? All the spots are gone. Oh, we got a couple here we got to spray. See that right there? Don't want to leave anything. You want to make sure it's spotlessly clean. See? Clean, clean, clean. A little bit right there. And these little spots. All right. That's a wrap for the day. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. And uh, hit the bell and be notified of all the crazy pressure washing jobs. Today was a great day. Nice ticket, that's for sure. This one being the biggest of all of them. But it was a good day for super blast all right let's get after it we'll see you tomorrow